Hello, everybody. This is Dark Nova here, getting back to more Let's Play Trails in the Sky Second Chapter. Last we left off, we got kidnapped by Uroboros and received and learned quite a bit about Joshua's past and the past of Hamel. And we received an invitation to Uroboros. Uroboros. And now we're trying to make our grand escape. What is this? It's a uh, Noah Stells Allowed. <laughs> oh, battles are not going to be fun with just Estelle. <laughs> We're good to go. Good sepith, though. Okay. Oh, come on! Again? Yes, Mrs. Cell, again. Piece of cake! Cake of peace. Okay, this is getting old. Yeah, just a bit of stealth. Yep. What? Fine then. You don't want to let me buy? In that case, I'll just have to make my own door. No. Ah, uh, my arm's all numb. So my career is a still the wall crusher, I guess. Yeah, so start to try and find some way around. Which is exactly what we've been doing, Estelle. said last episode, <laughs> I value my speed stat. I value my gotta go fast. That's a lot of secret that I gotta start spending. Please tell me about this thing that's so ridiculously huge and easy to get lost in. At this point, my only real hopes are either to find a parachute or somehow take control of one of the smaller airships. Either way, gotta keep going. There she is! Crap! Yeah! <laughs> that's far enough, girly. Not too bad, though, escaping from the custody of the Glorious and all. The daughter of Cassius Bright does not disappoint. You understand, of course, that trying to resist is pointless. Be a good little girl and lay down your weapon. <laughs> what a pathetic showing, Estelle Bright. 
Huh? Oh, don't recognize me with the helmet, do you? Fine then, look into the face of the one who placed it. Huh? Heh, <laughs> you remember at last. You bastard. I doubt you ever thought you'd encounter me again, even in your worst nightmares, hmm? Uh, I could be a troll and say who again? I don't know. Oh, I think I remember you. You're a uh, Mayor Dalmore something or other, I think. How can you be so uncertain? Yes, I am Gilbert, former steward of Mayor, Thar Mayor Dalmore. You can't even remember those two you have arrested? Unbelievable. Well, excuse the heck out of me for being surprised. I mean, first of all, didn't we hand you over to the army for a trial and stuff? How'd you even manage to get here? Heh, <laughs> you doubt my resourcefulness. During the coup, I managed to escape in the chaos. Shortly thereafter, Uroboros found me. And so I pledged my allegiance to them. I don't know whether to call that tenacious or just thick-headed. Are you seriously a Jaeger? You're not actually going to fight, are you? And again, you underestimate me. I am a prodigy of the sword as much as the pen. A master of both. But um, I remember how you screamed back when you got roughed up by those special ops guys at the lighthouse. Do you really think you're cut off for combat? It was all high pitched too, like. Silence! I've been part of a huge number of combat enhancement programs since I first entered the society service. My physical abilities have been greatly increased, and my knowledge of battle tactics is unparalleled. So don't think you can best me again, Bracer Scum. For the love of. Ah, just play along for now. Now then, a stealth right. If you want to live, throw aside your stick and get down on your knees and beg for mercy. If you do that, I may even forgive your past transgressions. Oh, what an offer. I moved to tears over here, really. But sorry, I'm pretty thick-headed too. <gasps> Maybe I can't beat one of your crazy enforcers on my own, but I can throw down with the likes of you. So bring it on, Screamer! Our needs to sign. <laughs> to resist, won't you? That'll make it more fun. Just in time. Looks like you're having a hard time. Allow me to assist. <laughs> Not necessary, soldier. We were just about to start her punishment. You're certainly welcome to watch, though. I wasn't talking to you. What are you. Too slow! What? Uh. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but you're not cut off. <laughs> really, what were you thinking? You may be a full bracer, but you're still a total loose cannon. What were you going to gain by trying to fight them all by yourself? No way. <laughs> Joshua? This, um, this isn't a dream, is it? Things would be nicer if this were a dream. Unfortunately, reality isn't so convenient. Huh? You finally show yourself. It's been a while, Luve. You knew I would find my way on board. It was entirely possible given your skills. Still, I'm curious as to how you actually managed it. I boarded one of the scout ships that went ahead of the Glorious to check its route. None of the enforcers are about... So it was fairly trivial to sneak in. You even guessed that Weissman would have request the Ark. You really haven't lost your touch, Black Fang. All thanks to you, really. Though it was always a bit nerve-wracking, wondering if you or someone else would find me. Hmm. <laughs> there are few who can see through your skill of uh your skill at obfuscation. But stealth has its weaknesses. Just if someone notices you, you lose your one advantage. You have lost your advantage, Black Fang. What do you think a fang can do against the Blade Lord? Wait! For your information, Luve, I'm still plenty ready to go. I don't care how strong you are. We won't make it easy on... Stand back, Estelle. Luve is powerful, more so than the both of us combined. And 
knowing that, you still came here. Some might call that naive, but I know you better than that. What drove you to leave her in the first place? Um, if you wish to protect someone, protect them. If you wish to cut them from your life, then do it completely. Did I not teach you to be thorough, to be decisive? Yes, you did. That was the very first lesson you taught me after Weissman was done tuning me. If she means that much to you, you should never have left her side. You should have stayed with her, tormented by guilt or otherwise. The fact that you didn't is just another form of escapism, nothing but deceit. I know that, Luve. I know what you're trying to tell me. Do you really? Joshua. But in that case, what about you, Luve? This should have been my price alone to pay, my burden. And yet you joined the society too, and now they call you the Blade Lord. Why are you still working with Weissman? My cooperation with Weissman is nothing to do with you. I do so because of my desires. Your desires? You mean about Karen? Petty revenge will bring Karen back. So I want to see if her death was worth it. I want to put humanity to the test. That's why I'm working with the professor. Put humanity to the test? Enough talking. You have three options. You and the girl both surrender. You protect the girl and you die. Or you abandon the girl and escape by yourself. Make your choice. Joshua. I'm sorry, but I'll be taking option four. What? Uh, what? You. I fiddle with the orbital engines a little. Left alone, the society's glorious arc will be just another wreck on the ocean floor soon. Hey, Joshua, could you maybe warn me when you... You really are a magician. You need authorization for the engine room, so I didn't think you'd be able to worm your way in there. I altered each of the 22 engines in a slightly different manner. Weissman could sort it out. Maybe Ren, too. But with them gone, the only one left is you, Luve. A final ace in the hole to put a stop to the plan. Well done. But to use it now? <laughs> Just how long do you intend to keep deluding yourself? <laughs> I hope you have an answer when next we meet. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, Joshua? I, um... We can talk later. I've got an airship prepared for an escape. We need to head down the stairs ahead of us and get to the hangar. Ah, yeah, come on. He is big and beefy. So big and beefy that I don't think they're gonna let me keep him. I think after we escape, maybe learn some stuff. He's gonna... He's gonna amscray again. than him? Thank you. 
да нет! Good stuff. Seven rings came. Just straight up power. 270. And just straight up power. That's that thing. Let's move out. in the wall. Move out. Move out. Hmm. I might take him down a few times. Get a stealth. Here, not done yet. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So, be right back. Okay, and we're back. So I I gotta sell up to level seventy. Giant freaking maze. Ow, pain. We're not done yet. No, Joshua, we are pretty done. I 
never use them, but they're nice. I'd rather equip something that gives me a permanent benefit throughout the whole fight and choose a revival item rather than an auto revive. That breaks after it works once. Now if it worked once per battle, that would be another story. But since it doesn't, I don't really like using it. That's that then. Let's move out. airship have its own landing port. Yes, the Crimson Ark, the glorious the pride of the society is meant to be a mothership of sorts. It can provide birth to up to 12 smaller vessels. That's unbelievable. I scared a ship earlier for our escape. It's in the hangar farthest in. Got it. I mean, guess you're not going to come with me, are you, Joshua? a bit late, aren't you? Campanella. You! Campanella. Joshua, how cold. You have that nice, long... You had. You have that nice, long heart-to-heart -heart with Luve, and you don't even stop to say hello to your old friend Campanella? I didn't think you were still on the ship. Let me guess. You knew I was coming this way. <laughs> well, I am the Grand Master. Well, I am the one the Grand Master sent to observe the plan. It is my job to notice more than the others do, after all. <laughs> it's impressive, though. You've changed quite a bit in the, what, half decade since last we met? You've become much more of a man. And you literally haven't changed at all. Even your appearance is exactly the same, as though you haven't aged today. 
<laughs> well, I make sure to never skip my day in skincare, after all. I've heard you enjoy a good romp in the dress every now and then. Perhaps I can introduce you to some cosmetics. Ah, could you be any more aggravating? You were waiting here for us because you wanted to fight, right? Just fight us already! <laughs> oh my goodness, what a strong little girl. I'd wonder what kind of girl could pluck your heart like a grape, Joshua. She's a good match for you, huh? Wait, who plucked whose heart like? Ah, uh, I forget myself, though. Your proper girlfriend is that bandit girl, isn't it? Oh, Joshua, you're such a stud. That's quite enough of your nonsense. I have no idea how you even know about Josette, but either way. Our abilities in combat should be about the same, and I doubt Estelle will just sit idly by. You still intend to stop us at force. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't my intent at all. As I said, I'm simply here to observe the plan unfold. I have no duty to impede you two directly. Wait, really? Then why bother waiting for us here? <laughs> to say my farewells, of course. But, you know, just saying goodbye isn't very exciting at all. So I thought it'd help make your escape story a little bit more riveting. <laughs> the pale Apache flying orbital puppet. The society is already the society already has working models. And so a new obstacle arises to block the reunited heroes. How will this affect their legend? Let's find out. That then. Let's move well, it's out. Too easy, my guys. Too easy, my friends. <laughs> well done, well done. I expected no less of Joshua, but the miss is really good as well. You, you, enough of your stupid messing around. Now, now, there's no need to be so angry. Anyway, it's time for the fool whose act is done to exit the stage right. What? <laughs> well then, you two. Let's read again soon. He's gone. That's just like a little escape trick he knows. Don't worry about it. More importantly... Hey, you sure they came this way? Didn't you hear the sounds, idiot? No doubt about it. Estelle, we have to hurry. Right! Lock the door. I'll get the ship launched immediately. You got it. Activation key, recognized. Confirmation code, entered. And we can go. What? I'm opening the hatch via remote control. We'll be launching immediately, so take a seat. Okay. It's them. Fire, don't let them escape. We're falling! It's fine, we'll correct shortly. There we go. And 
and away we go. Urgh, I think they can just fly away. Hell with that! Sorting this airships. We're going after them. Whoa, this is a radar, isn't it? There's some um, three lights getting closer, I think. Mm, pursuers. We'll need to evade them somehow. Uh, Joshua, you know how to fly an airship? The basics, at least. The ship doesn't have any armaments, however. It's in the best situation for us to be in. Oh, great. Wait, why did you go for a ship with no weapons? The ship was undergoing maintenance, so the security was lighter. It was an emergency, so I didn't have time to be picky. An emergency? Um, you don't mean... You don't mean the fact that I was caught on the Glorious? Enough. We're going to be flying rough, so hang on to something. Wah! He's got a gun up top. What do you mean, Joshua? guys chasing us seem pretty good. The pilots have been put through one of the society's piloting focus enhancement programs, most likely. They won't be very good at adapting to the unusual, but for more common tasks like chasing down a ship, they're very good. I get it, they're like those guys from earlier. If they're bad at adapting though, maybe we can cause them some kind of accident? Gah! Were we hit? No way, that wasn't our ship. That was the Bobcat coming to our aid. Wahoo! That's no way! The Bobcat? But why? Joshua! Joshua, you're on that ship, right? That voice. That voice. Yes, it's me. What are you guys doing here? I thought you'd be out of the burrow by now. <laughs> My brothers got all worried that you might run into a problem. So we've been shadowing that flying whale for a while. <laughs> really? Who was the one begging us to follow Joshua? Looking all worked up and ready to faint? Kyle! Enough, you two. And besides, we have a little payback to give the society ourselves. We thought we could stick around here until we settle our other debt. I see. Thank you. You saved me. <laughs> yeah, you better be grateful. We've had an eye on you for a while and noticed you weren't firing back. There's some kind of problem? I had to take a ship with no armaments. It's going to be quite a bit of an issue. I can imagine. What do we do then? Right then, we'll split them in two. You can probably lose one, right? One? No problem. It's a plan then. Blessings of Adios do with you. Joshua, take care, you hear me? Nice. Capitals to the rescue. Estelle, is there anything on the radar? Nope, all the lights are out, it looks like. Seems like we completely lost them. Good. Um, I gotta say, I was surprised by the bandits. They're kind of okay. I never thought they'd show up out of the blue to save us like that. Maybe I've been a bit too hard on them. It's true. I just saw us as two parties bound to a contract. But I suppose relationships between people aren't that simple. <laughs> What's this all of a sudden? Put two people together and maybe they'll fight, maybe they'll be friends. All kinds of stuff can happen. That's just how people act, you know? Yes. How people act. It was never very clear in the world I lived in. Oh. Kill or be killed. 
take or be taken from. Till I met you, my life was an endless cycle of such simplicity. But, um, even you had some good times with Luve and your sister, right? Luve told you about that, did he? It's true, I have those memories, but they feel like someone else's. What? After my heart was shattered, my memories of Hamel were no longer my own. I think it's because I gave up being human and chose to become a puppet. I do clearly remember my sister's death. She and I were attacked by a man lying in wait for stragglers. The man swatted me away and forced my sister to the ground. Oh! At that, at the time, I was pro I was too young to know what he probably meant to do. All I knew was that he was hurting my sister and I had a bad feeling. So I grabbed onto the man's back. I ended up getting crushed and thrown off immediately. Somehow, though, I managed to get my hands on the man's gun. Thinking about it, I wondered, did I have a talent for killing people even then? I'd never even been taught how, but I still removed the safety and pulled the trigger with no hesitation. The man fell over, spewing blood from his mouth, looking confused. At that moment, I finally realized I'd shot a man. He wasn't quite dead yet, though. He jumped up, combat knife out, screaming and gurgling incoherently with murder in his eyes. I curled up and closed my eyes like I was being attacked by a wild animal. But there was no impact. I was embraced by something soft. When I opened my eyes, there was my sister gently smiling at me. The man had collapsed at some point, and Luve was standing there, dumbstruck with horror. My sister, cradled by Luve, gave, gave me her harmonica. And then she closed her eyes. I remember every detail, you see. But even talking about it like this doesn't make me feel sad. It's just a slight tugging at the heart, like reading a stranger's diary. And the same is true of my time with you. No. I do think I was changed a little by touching your warmth. I learned happiness and joy with you, and finally came to think of you as someone dear. But somewhere it all felt like it was distant. I suspect that what my real self is feeling. The empty void of the broken puppet that is Joshua Astray. Goal C sideway. Here we are. <laughs> this is goodbye, Estelle. Please do not chase after me anymore. I was a little happy to see you one last time, but even so, we should not be together. Being with someone like me will never be good for you. And, to be frank, you will only be a burden to me. So, you're a terrible liar, you know that? What? Joshua, listen. I've seen and heard a lot since you left. And now, now I think I understand. I understand the reason you left, the real reason, the one you haven't even admitted to yourself. You can't bear to be with me because your heart's broken? You feel like being with me is someone else's story that can nev that you can never, ever have? And come on, I'll be a bad influence on you? Or you'll hold me back? What? That's all a bunch of lies, every single one, especially that last one. They aren't lies. No, Joshua, really, listen. I understand now. You're really, really scared. What? You think it's your fault that your sister died. And you'd never, ever forgive yourself if something happened to me. That's why you ran away from me that night. Everything else was just pinned on afterwards. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Why son's conditioning left me incapable of feeling fear. He took away my ability to feel it so that I wouldn't hesitate during an operation. You're a little off target, I'm afraid. No, darn it, I'm not talking about something that superficial. Joshua, you said you can't help but feel like your sister's death happened to someone else, right? Do you know why that is? Of course. It's because I'm a broken wreck of a human being. Nuh-uh, no, no, wrong-o. We aren't letting self-pity get in the way here. Joshua, you, you just don't want to remember how awful it was when your sister died. How you blame yourself for it. Unconsciously, you've been trying to think of it as someone else's problem. To get away from it. A lot of people do that. I... And on that ship, don't tell me you weren't afraid there. I mean, it was a lot of work just to sneak on board, right? But you didn't even hesitate to help me escape. It's almost as if you were trying to get me away from danger as fast as you possibly could. Danger you were afraid of. You aren't a broken wreck, Joshua. You're just scared. Mostly because you care for people so much it breaks your heart. And you're lying to yourself about it. 
That's how I see it, and I know I'm right. But I... That can't... Why? Can you? Have you forgotten, Buster? I'm LeBro's number one Joshua watcher. Now that I know all about your past, too, I'm the biggest authority on Joshua Astray in the world. I know more than Weissman or Luve, even. Joshua scared and Joshua brave. Joshua lying and Joshua honest. My beloved Joshua. I finally found you, Joshua. I finally reached you. Stop. But I... I need to say this. I don't want to just be one more person you feel like you have to protect. As long as I'm a bracer, I can't stay away from danger. That's not going to change even if you leave again, Joshua. It's what I have to do to be who I am. And so... And so, Joshua, let's make a promise. A uh, promise? Let's go forward together from now on and protect each other equally. I'm strong enough to be able to cover your back now, Joshua. And if you're at my side, there's nothing I can't be. No matter what kind of crazy nonsense the society throws at me, I won't die. So, so you don't need to be afraid for me anymore. I promise. Still, I... Why? How? I haven't been able to cry since since Karen died. I can never even shed tears as an act. But now? It's okay. No one's looking. Cry as long as you want. And I'll just hold you like this. Nice. Um, a little embarrassing. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, right. Here, let me return this. Oh. Seriously, Joshua, this is your only memento of Karen, right? You shouldn't just fob this off on others without thinking, buddy. Yes. It was a bit thoughtless of me, wasn't it? I was kind of wondering. What kind of person was she? What kind of person? Hmm. She was friendly to everyone she met. Kind of almost to a fault, and she had dignity born of humility. She and Luve, the Luve of back then, were perfect together. I was always a little jealous of them as a child. Friendly, kind, and dignified. So she was kind of like Chloe then? And it's a good comparison, thinking about it. Karen didn't look like Chloe. She had my eyes and hair, but they were similar in spirit. Estelle? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, speaking of Chloe... You realize you worried her and everyone else sick too, and not just me, right? You have some serious groveling to do when we get back. Estelle, I do. If you say something like, oh, I don't have to, I don't have the right to go back, I'm just gonna drag you back by your hair, okay? Sure, you were Weissman's spy, but you didn't even know it, right? Even helping the bandits get their ship back was done to try and stop the society, right? If you tell that about the society's plans, that'll make it even. That's what they call a plea bargain, right? That's not quite how a plea bargain works. Besides, even if you want to stop the society, you can't get back on that ship, can you? In that case, your only option is to work with us, Buster. And if you hadn't been abducted, I could have destroyed the Glorious as I originally planned. Er, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> er, wait, hold on. How can you say destroy the Glorious so easily? I know, it's the so I know it's the society we're talking about, but... Were you really going to kill them all? It will take nothing less to stop Weissman and Lube. And even then, there's a decent chance that they'd survive the destruction of the Glorious. For the love of... No, actually, I think it's for the best I got caught. You're going to do something completely crazy, Joshua. <laughs> You're all... <laughs> Estelle's being all cute and naive again, aren't you? No, not at all. It's just that you have matured a lot as a person while we've been apart. But ultimately, you're still Estelle. That makes me happier than I thought possible. Oh, um... 
My mech does Joshua smiles don't make my heart beat. It's because it's been a while, isn't it? It still gets me right there. Mm, Estelle? Hey! You got along pretty well with that tomboy, right? Tomboy? Oh, you mean Josette? Well, at first we had our differences. Even so, we came to understand each other pretty well by the end, I'd say. Understand each Did you kiss her? What? Question. Answer. Give. Right. Of course I didn't. Our relationship wasn't like that. Oh, um, good. Well, um, then... Can I request a do-over for that of that night? A do-over? Oh. The f first kiss is really important to a girl, you know? And... And it was all your fault that mine got wasted. So you, you've got to take responsibility, Mr. Estelle. Oh. Estelle? I suppose I do. Hey! Joshua! Nice. I super de duper ship it. The Tomboy! What? Oh, heck, you got away too, huh? Uh, I was hoping you'd stay caught. Gee, maybe I should have thrown you at them as a distraction. But I don't think they'd like grimy Tomboys. Come on, Josette, don't start a fight. You won't object to a brief truce, I hope, Miss Bracer. Yeah, well, you guys did save us back there, after all. So thank you, really. We wouldn't have made it without you. <laughs> There's no need to thank us. Psh, I don't remember saving you. So just keep your thanks to yourself, okay? Ugh. Okay, one of you is getting dragged off to a prison after all, it looks like. That aside, Astray, what are your plans now? Huh? We came to ask again if you wanted to come with us, but... I'm thinking it looks like we don't even need to ask, huh? Yes, forgive me. I'm not really certain how things will go from here. Right now, though, I will be traveling with Estelle. Joshua! <laughs> I see. Oh, whatever. At least there's still a chance. What? Joshua, remember. You get tired of Miss Airhead over there. Just come on back to us. You'll always have a place on the Bobcat, okay? Walk over here and call me an Airhead one more time, you greasy tomboy. <laughs> Thank you, Josette. Don, Kyle, I owe all of you so much. Ah, that's our line. Good luck and stay safe. Hopefully we'll meet again someday. Finally did it. We finally have Joshua back. Estelle. What is it? You do understand that the enemies we've made are overwhelmingly powerful. You were captured primarily as bait to lure me out, I suspect. That way, the Glorious wouldn't be destroyed in my son's absence. Oh! And to be honest, Luve probably could have saved the ship after kicking our bodies into the sea. I'm fairly sure the reason he didn't was out of pity. Pity at how weak I was, I mean. All of the enforcers are the same. In terms of pure power, they're all masters, far stronger than me, even Ren. We have picked pro what will probably be the hardest fight of our lives. Yeah. But I do promise. I promise I won't ever run from reality again. I will walk with you until the very end. Joshua, I promise too. To the very end. I ship the hell out of it and I love it. The whereabouts of Bonds are right here, my guy. This is a fantastic place to stop. Until next time, everybody, this has been Ark Nova playing Trails in the Sky, second chapter. Have a good day.